The things that I have seen in Walmart are actually insane. What the f no! Oh my God! For some reason, the craziest things seem to always happen in Walmart. And in this video, I'm going over all the strange things that I have seen. Starting with Mr. Milkman himself. I was at the self-checkout where I usually steal from, and then I heard someone start yelling. I look up to my right, and there is this guy, like it is hard to put in words what I saw. If you're an OG, you might remember this guy. This guy literally got on top of this spinny grocery bag thing and started singing, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, while dumping a whole ass gallon of milk on himself in his underwear. I just remember I was literally in the self-checkout line just scrolling on my phone. Then I heard someone start yelling. I look up from my phone, not really expecting to see much, and dude, I see this dude in his underwear underwear about to dump a whole ass gallon of milk on himself. The next thing you know, he is just yelling, dumping milk on himself. Like it is so hard to put in words what I saw that day. Like it is so hard to put in words what I saw that I probably couldn't even explain it to a friend. Like it is hard to explain. And after he dumped the entire gallon on himself, he jumped off the spinny grocery bag thing and busted his ass, dude. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of funny. And to this day, I still don't know why he did this. Like, what was the motivation for these shenanigans? This guy really took, he needs some milk to a whole new level. Everyone, what the f What the f Oh my god. What really? the f can I get outside security? I was walking down the freezer aisle looking for some ice cream and I ended up seeing more than just ice cream. I saw a half naked homeless dude in the freezer sucking on a popsicle. What the actual fuck? Then when he noticed that I saw him, he got out and started knocking over all the cookies. <laughs> None of this was surprising to be honest because I see shit like this every single time I go to Walmart. You know, I really did not expect to see much when I was walking down the freezer aisle. But as you know, I ended up seeing this motherfucker in the freezer. I literally just wanted some ice cream. And let me tell you, this dude panicked when I saw him to the point where he ran into all the damn cookies. Did he really think that nobody would see him there and that it was like his hiding spot? Because that dude was in plain sight. But I'm not gonna lie, the only thing that actually caught me off guard was the cookies. I did not expect him to just run into the cookies like that. That actually somewhat surprised me for once. But bro, I know damn well that the employees do not get paid enough for this shit. Like they gotta deal with people like half naked freezer dude. They also gotta clean that whole mess up. But if you were in my shoes and you saw a half naked homeless dude in the freezer, what are you doing first? Like what's the first thing you're doing? Let me know in the comments. This was the first thing that I saw when I walked in the Walmart. A Walmart NPC covered in plastic wrap with an ice spice wig on, screaming, I'm acting brand new. Not gonna lie, I've seen a lot of strange things in Walmart, but this one in particular makes no sense at all. Like what the fuck is going on here? What the fuck is going on here is a 100% correct statement. I'm acting brand new. Like, like what is bro yapping about? I'm gonna go ahead and give a wild guess on what he could possibly be yapping about. Maybe, just maybe, he wrapped himself in plastic wrap then started to unwrap himself, just like if you bought something new, like a steak. So he's technically acting brand new. Am I onto something or am I just saying a whole lot of nothing? But after all that, he just bolted out the door and nobody has seen him since. Maybe one day the mystery will be solved. I have seen so many weird things in Ohio, but this one is unreal. I'm not even kidding. A whole motherfucking unicorn was up in the Walmart. Dude, I thought I was hallucinating. I literally thought I was hallucinating, but this was some real shit. So I go to bro on the unicorn and I'm like, bro, let me win this hoe. We a low price. I gotta say, a unicorn is the absolute last thing that I would expect to see in a Walmart. 
And you know what? One day, I saw a unicorn in the Walmart. But a few minutes after I first saw the unicorn in the Walmart, it really got me thinking. What if I rode that thing in here? Like, what if I rode that unicorn in this Walmart right here, right now? That would be amazing. I mean, it really doesn't hurt to ask, right? So I took the opportunity. I went up to bro and I was like, yo, let me whip the unicorn in here real quick. And shockingly, he was like, yeah, bet, go for it. I was like, what? It was that easy? So I whipped the unicorn in the Walmart and it was the best thing ever. Like I was sure. I never in my life thought I would ride a unicorn in Walmart, but you know, sometimes life is just full of surprises. <laughs> I literally was chilling in the self checkout line where I typically steal from. Then out of nowhere, this guy just straight spawns in. Like he straight up just spawned in. Then this guy grabs a chocolate milk and dumps it on himself. Okay, now this guy seriously let his intrusive thoughts win. I mean, he's definitely on something, but why? If you thought the guy that dumped chocolate milk on himself let his intrusive thoughts win, whoever had the idea to light up the fireworks in Walmart really let their intrusive thoughts win. Because who the fuck does that? Someone really had the idea to light up all the fireworks in Walmart. Like whoever did this better be in jail. That's all I gotta say. Here is what really surprised me. When all this was going on, there were people shopping like nothing was going on. Like there were hundreds of fireworks going off in Walmart and there are people just shopping like, Oh, I need some milk. People had zero concern whatsoever. I mean, I guess people are just used to seeing things like this at Walmart. That's the only thing that I can figure. <laughs> that boy is locked in on the job. Like that boy is locked in. This guy did not come to play. Let me tell you. Like that boy is on X games mode right now. Okay. Now imagine this. This is the cashier that you get when your mom goes to get something. Yeah. Imagine. But if you're getting paid like an hourly wage, is there really a point to put in that much effort? Like that is ridiculous. Like that boy, he's going to be sore in the morning. It is only right that I mention this one again in this video. I would say that this is the grand finale. If you didn't watch my recent video when I mentioned this, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick rundown. I was casually shopping in the produce section, you know, I was looking at the apples, the oranges. Then out of the blue, I started to hear pure chaos. Like pure chaos. Glass breaking, people yelling, people panicking. I look behind me and I see something that only a glitched out NPC would would do because I know damn well that no real person would do something like this. Like something this stupid is something only a glitched out NPC would do. She literally smashed every single glass bottle on that aisle. And here's the really crazy part. Nobody was stopping her and nobody stopped her the entire time. She was still smashing bottles when I left the store. Like she was smashing bottles for a good 30 minutes plus. There ain't no telling how long she smashed bottles for. She was popping bottles like it was New Year's. For real. Make sure to go watch my last video if you haven't already. And if you already watched my last video, go watch this video right here. 